Hi, this is Judy Kiriazis from GlassArtTools.com. Today I'd like to tell you about one of the great innovative products at my website that I discovered, which is a 3M acrylic tape that can be used on glass. This is how it will arrive on your doorstep on a special silicone coated sheet of paper in strips like this. And there's a reason for that. It's so that you can cut one strip at a time and use it in your glass. And there are many, many uses which I'm going to share with you right now. To cut this tape you can use scissors, but I found it's a lot easier to get the small pieces you need by using the OFA 28mm rotary cutter and a self-healing cutting mat. I sell both of these at the Glass Art Tools website for your convenience. You can just slice off the roll the strip of tape that you think you'll be using and cut along it longitudinally but not all the way across and then holding it down, keeping your fingers out of the way of the blade, go in and cut it at every quarter inch or so. And now you're going to have a whole variety of little pieces that you can use. All you do is grab it, peel off the tape, and put it onto your glass. And then when you're ready, you will peel off this top protective layer. So let's give you some ideas of the many ways you can use this tape in your glass fusing studio. The two amazing positive aspects of this acrylic tape are that you don't have to sit around waiting for glue to dry or worry about your glue showing when you fire it in the kiln. This tape disappears completely after firing. One of the things that is really wonderful to use it for is that I always find since my kiln is in a different building than my studio that things roll around and you can't really be sure of the positioning of things when you get them into the kiln if you even move your glass a little bit. You won't have that problem if you take the tape peel it off and adhere it, this is what I'm doing here, adhering it. Two small tiny pieces are all you need for this big piece of glass. And just before you're ready to put it down, you peel off, peel off the backing right there. and you place it and gently push it down and your piece is now stuck. What is also wonderful about this is that if you don't like where you put it, you can reposition it. Press it down and there it is again. By the same token, accessory glass just loves being stuck down using this tape. You position where you want these stringers to go, lift it up, adhere the piece of tape at each end, check it to make sure it's where you want it. Whoops, let me move this over so you can see. And then when you're ready, peel off the backing need fingernails to do this and position your stringer and whether it's exposed to the heat of the kiln or covered with glass that tape will burn off invisibly the only time the tape will show up is if you sprinkle powders over it and then the outline of the tape tends to show up so you don't want to use this with powders and so you can use these pieces, tiny pieces of tape to position your stringers wherever you want and then when you're ready and pleased with how it looks, you can carry it out to your kiln and not worry about it moving around. Here's another use for the 3M acrylic tape for glass fusing. 
If you put anything between two layers of glass, be it paper with chalks, chalks piled on, heavy paint, or small pieces of glass or stringers, one of the things you'll always want to avoid is trapping air bubbles in between those two layers of glass. So the acrylic tape really speeds things up for helping you to keep the edges of the glass open during fusing. You remember that edges heat faster than centers. And so what causes trapped air bubbles is that these edges will fuse closed and trap the air inside. So we're going to prop this top layer, which I've picked as an accordion glass so you can see it clearly, but you might use clear glass or other transparent glass. We're going to keep that top layer propped open as long as possible. And the way that I did this was I put a tiny piece of acrylic tape at each corner and in the center of each edge, which may be overkill, I don't know but I like to be safe rather than sorry if I'm putting in a lot of work. And then using your grossing pliers, you can take clear stringers and break them off. You want to have little tiny pieces and pick up those tiny little pieces and just place them down on the tape like that and you instantly now have a piece of glass that is going to fuse invisibly, we hope. We know that the tape will, and it's going to keep the corners and the edges open for when you put on the top layer. And there it is, you can carry it either like this or like this over to your kiln and be able to have perfect placement and not worry about your glass sealing shut and air bubbles forming. And I'm sure as you're working with this tape, you will find even more useful uh, ways to have it cut your time and make you more efficient in your studio. And if you do find new ways, please be sure to share them with me at glassarttools.com, which is where you can find the tape as well. Thank you.